Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Welcome, привет. I'm your Russian American makeup and beauty addict. I love reviewing and doing tutorials of affordable and expensive makeup. That's the usual stuff. In today's video, I'm in my bathroom, as you can see, and probably sounds like it too. <laughs> um, my first time on my channel, I'm doing a declutter video. I don't know if you guys are interested, but I really need to clean up. So if you guys are uh, curious, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this mess <laughs> and leave me a comment below. Let's get right into this video. <sighs> I've been dreading this for a while. I love clean, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to declutter, it's like I have to organize everything and I might take you for a little tour of our apartment here. We live in a one bedroom apartment in Los Angeles in downtown, so it means everything is compact. It might seem like it's big, but there's really no filming room or beauty room. In so here's a little tour, that's a bathroom. That's the bedroom, the outside window, the dark now. I got washer and drying here behind these doors, which is real nice. Bicycles, see, one bedroom, small, bicycles in the living room. <laughs> so got couches, my husband mess here, and my mess over there. <laughs> and I got TV, bicycles again. <laughs> Here's my uh, filming space. I got some stuff to review yet. Next. And this is what I, where I am, right to the next front door. Next to the front door. Front door, the coat closet, and that's where I film. But this way I don't have to move anything. And it's always here. And the kitchen is right here. So that's it. It's a little messy right now, excuse the mess, but I'm tired and I'm ready to have dinner. So that's my bike, that's my husband's bike. And yes, he's got a little battery because he does not pedal a lot. <laughs> he's got a motorized uh, bicycle, which you have to pedal, but it works a little bit uh, with the battery and a little bit with the heat. So that's it. That's my favorite place right here for making my reviews. That's why I'm against the wall because there is no other room to do it. <laughs> so that's it, guys. So my beauty, is here in the bathroom. Here's the vanity here. You can see a little bit of sink. And the makeup is stored below. <laughs> I'm just sitting on my chair where I sit down to put my makeup on. The mirror is right next to the sink. And my makeup stored in storage containers. So I'm a new YouTuber and I'm a budget channel. So my makeup collection is not as big. Some of this line here. And it might be Fuzzies from Jacqueline Hill lipstick. All right, this joke is old. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, everything stored behind me. You're gonna see. It's not a lot, but I have accumulated some stuff that I might have to either donate to women's shelter, if they take slightly used makeup. I'm not sure. And I have some dollar store makeup. It's just not worth anything, so I'll just throw it away. So, if you're interested, let's do this. I'm gonna get up. Let me see. Let me put you closer so you can see. And my phone is in the way. So as you can see, here on top I have a few containers. This is from the time we lived in New York. We lived in New York in a kind of alcove studio. It was even smaller. So all I had like kind of things like this. And I threw away most of them. They're old. So I kept a little bit of this. This are my contact lenses containers. I love color contacts. <laughs> And I have one, two, three, four left. The rest of them expired, so I threw them away. Uh, here I have some tweezers, see, you know, just nail stuff. I have some hair stuff, hair clips, a little more hair clips, just some everyday stuff. I have some sharpeners and a little bit of jewels set up with my eyes. It's like nail art, but you can glue this to uh, um, makeup looks uh, with the eyelash glue. And I got my dress-up brushes on top and a bunch of miscellaneous brushes. That's like Morphe and some of it from AliExpress. 
Just some of the stuff I use. I have the other brushes here. So this on the sink, my face brushes, which you really need to clean and like barely clean them. It's disgusting, but oh well. And I got a color switch, which like you can do makeup and just brush off the excess to use different color. I use it, but I still like to wash my brushes after. And here's my fan. <laughs> Work. And some just miscellaneous stuff. Here's a <laughs> blendiful. So that's just on the surface. Now I put my makeup in, in the order I put it on usually, like concealer first, if I just do a morning look and I have to work at the gym. Tilt it down. Ooh, I'm losing camera, no? No, I'm not losing, good. Almost lost the camera, okay. So the concealer drawer. I think I've got the most of the concealers. I got quite a bit of stuff. I'm pulling up some baggage so I can throw away stuff. So first one to go, I'm not, I'm, I'm sure this doesn't work. I got this in the dollar store. It says a Revlon age defying wrinkle remedy and line filler. It doesn't do anything. That's why it ended up in a dollar store. And I think this was in New York garbage. I got this color corrector and this is from uh, Ruby Kisses. So it's kind of a dollar store st stuff too. So. I'm going to keep this because it does work when I do drag, like if I do drag on my husband. <laughs> I practice drag makeup, but he won't let me show it. So that's going to stay. This can stay too. I have uh, contour sticks for Wet n Wild, contour and highlight. They do work, but they only good for kind of a drag looks as well. Then I got this Tarte Shape Tape, which is empty. I really need to get rid of this. It's expired, it's old, and it's empty. It's light, it says six months. I've had it like for two years, so it has to go. This was good concealer, by the way, but it's way too overpriced, and I have so many of them. So I have this uh, LA Colors Conceal and Correct. This is from uh, Dollar Tree. It kind of it does have some color, kind of like yellow. But it's so creamy, it really blends into nothing. It's really it's crap, I mean, it's crap. So this goes. So this was from a dollar store video, when I was uh, doing dollar store. This is another color corrector. I might keep this, because it has a little peachy tone. So it's kind of better if I want to conceal something. Like again, uh, I don't know, if I'm doing drag on somebody. I love drag queens, so never mind me. So this is one I kind of regret buying because it was real bad. I don't think it was expensive, it was on sale. I think it was Ulta on sale. That's Milani a Retouch and Erase, a light lifting concealer. And this is just crap. I'm, sh I'm sorry, but that's, ooh, I squeezed too much. Anyway, this is blending into nothing. It's so creamy, it looks like it's working, but I don't know, maybe I should keep it and give it another try. <laughs> I think it's going to be one of those things that I'm going to keep trying and leaving everything in. Alright, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Alright, so I'm throwing this away. This is Age and Rewind. A lot of people love this concealer by Maybelline, but to me it's just underwhelming. I'm not in, into it. So this goes to trash. And I used it up, by the way. This is a couple of these spoolies. I have almost no eyebrow hair. If you know me, I have a thyroid disorder and my eyebrow hair is almost non-existent. This is old, this is old. It's going, I don't need those things. Uh, I don't know why I have this. This is that flesh toned pencil that I never use for anything. I like white in my uh, waterline. And this is probably old anyway, so going. Same thing with this. It's used up and it's old. I don't know why I'm keeping it. So this I'm going to keep the by buying their eye. I have a little sample and I still have not gone through it. I wish I had little dividers, but these plastic drawers, they're kind of too small for that, so I'm just gonna keep it as is. So I have some pencils here, white pencils. This is NYX white. I love this for the waterline. And that's the milk, the thick one. I love that for the waterline. And I also have NYX liquid eyeliner, which should go to another drawer because this doesn't belong here, so I'm going to put it away. 
uh, the brush, this is an old brush. I mean, how old it is, I don't know. It's like all effed up already. <laughs> it's going to trash. I'm such a brush hoarder. It's another example. This is e.l.f. brush. And this is kind of a concealer or a foundation brush. I hate those flat brushes. The, to me, they're so useless. It's cheap and it's, it just doesn't work for me. Foundation brush is going. And what else I got here? Uh, this is Wet n Wild. I think it's a lipstick. It's a white lipstick. I'm pretty sure. It doesn't really say what it is in the package. It says ghostly beings. It was like Halloween. But this is great as an eye primer. I know some people would not use it as eye, eye primer because it's gonna make it grease. But my eyelids are dry. So this kind of works for me. So I think I'm gonna keep this. Then I've got another one of those. But find it here. So this is a similar thing. It's a cover-up stick. So this is really more of a concealer. It's white. So I think I'm gonna keep this for my white makeup looks. Uh, I'm not even sure what brand it is. It says Italia. I got it in a dollar store, so it's kind of useful those things. So I keep everything white on the side. So the things I, I don't use often, I put it in the back. So I'm gonna put this concealer in here too. So he, this is Juvia's Place Concealer. A lot of people love it. For me, although I have dry skin, uh, and this is dewy, but it's so dewy, so it starts to kind of grease. So I didn't really like that. So I'm gonna put it in the back for later decision. <laughs> so now I have these, and I might have to let this go because this is not great. So this is HD Flawless Concealer by O Studio. I got this in iGate House website. And this is supposed to be kind of a, like a LA color dupe. So it is dewy. But it's one of those things. It kind of too creamy and it greases. I don't know. I kind of feel bad throwing it away because I really want this thing. Now I don't know what to do with it. I might keep it for reference. <laughs> I feel like I have a hard time throwing away concealers because I love them. So I'm just going to put it to the back, maybe for the future. And I have another one, different tone. So that's that. And then I have old e.l.f. concealer. Now this is common kind of concealer that most people love. For me it's too dry. But as a primer, if I don't want to use P. Louise primer, this is amazing. Because it's so dry, it doesn't grease, it just works. So another one, LA Girl Pro Conceal. Again, some people loved it, I didn't. I mean, it's all right. I like to mix it with some concealers that's too dry, so I might keep this. Um, but otherwise, it just greases on me. So I'm just gonna put this away back here, together with the O Studio, because they're very similar. And I have another one of these. Yeah, it's another color. This one is ivory and it's like clearly orange. This is the oddest thing. So put it in the back. I really should throw away some stuff, but I can't. <laughs> so now I have Focal Lure Concealer. And this is again, I'm really close to throwing this away because it really doesn't work that well. Again, it's very, very liquidy, very creamy. I love Focal Lure. Eyeshadows, amazing. Eyeliner, amazing. But this, it's like a lotion. It does have coverage though, so I think I think this is gonna be for give me another try. And if I give it another try and it doesn't work, I'm throwing it away. But this is going. It's called Big Cover. And this is supposed to be like a foundation concealer. I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. It's liquid, it doesn't really cover anything. I don't know. This one's completely useless, trash. So I need to really start throwing away stuff. I can't just keep everything. So this brush, oddly enough, I'm keeping this. This is e.l.f. brush, and it's kind of rough. It's not the softest, but it's great for picking up fallout. <laughs> it's odd thing. I just pick this brush, and every time I do my eyeshadow, if I do my face makeup, and I usually do my base first, so I use this brush to kind of clean up under eyes. That's why it's in this drawer but I think I need to find it in another place. So now I got eyeshadow primer, Milani. This is pretty good actually. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. So I'm gonna keep it here as well on the side. 
And I've got glitter glue, NYX, NYX glitter glue, amazing, love it. So I'll keep it on the side. And my new P. Louise primer, this is a jam, a really, really good one. So what else? Oh, the candid concealer. Actually, this is pretty neat. It's not bad. I thought it was going to be a really sheer, but uh, the foundation to me, the dewy one, dewy candid foundation was awful, but this is not bad. I used it as a concealer and I used it as an eyeshadow base and I could play with it some more. It's not the fullest coverage, but it's not bad. So I'm going to put it over here on the side. And what else? Oh, I think I might have to chuck these. These are Foera concealers. Here's the thing. I love Foera, the brand, and I love their foundation, but there's something about these concealers. They smell kind of funny, and this worries me. The smell is really bad. And again, it's kind of creamy. It's too creamy and it's too dewy. So I think it's one of those things. I have to use them just one more time before I throw them away because I'm such a big fan of foundation. The foundation is so good. But the concealers was a very questionable for me, so I'm gonna put them into the if maybe pile in the back. And what else here? Oh, I got this Elf Wrinkle Refiner. This is a free gift for the purchase, and this is supposed to like a clean up. Uh, uh, I would say even out your under eyes. It does do something, but I feel like the makeup doesn't go over this. So I need to, again, use this a few more times. Probably put it with my skincare because it doesn't go with the makeup. So we'll get into my favorite ones. So here's the only bougie brand I have. I mean, except for the IT Cosmetics that I have as a sample. But this is Jouer Concealer, and I'm always out of it, almost. I didn't use it very often, so I can save it. It's really, really good. It was expensive. The amount you get very small, so... I don't think I'll be repurchasing, but it is a really good thing. And I'm going to keep it until I use it up. Again, another concealer I'm on the fence about. Something about these dewy concealers. For the dry skin person, I really don't like them. I don't know why. This is full coverage, and I keep using this, and I keep kind of going back and thinking, mm, I like it, but then it starts to grease and fall into my fine lines, so... This is going to be one of the things in the maybe pile, whether to uh, throw it away or not. I have another e.l.f. concealer, the Kama concealer, in a different color. More of my, um, better for my under eyes, a little bit darker. So I'm going to keep this at a base. Now I'm getting closer and closer uh, to the ones I really like and enjoy. So the ones I like the most right now, my favorites, is L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I would say this is like almost my number one after Jouer, I would say. I love this. This is a real good matte concealer. It does not dry my under eyes. It kind of looks really, really good. I'm surprised. So that's a good one. Then we got CoverGirl, which is like almost identical to the L'Oreal. It's kind of the same thing. It's matte. It really covers the under eyes, it's full coverage, and it does not crease, it looks great. So this is my two favorite. And my new favorite is the Revlon Conceal and Define Infinite. I love this, amazing. I'm definitely keeping this thing, I love it. I got another cheap elf brush that it, sometimes I clean up around my eyebrows with. So I'll keep it in the same drawer because it kind of goes with concealers. And I don't know what this little thing's are doing here. It's probably trash. Came with some cosmetics. So now we got this, the Revlon. Oh, that's not Revlon, that's the Revolution Pro. That's another concealer, kind of like IT Cosmetics, and it's not bad. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I loved it in my review, loved it. But it still has this kind of creamy consistency that tends to grease even when you set it, so I have to again play with it and decide. And another favorite recent is e.l.f. Hydrating Common Concealer. This is a hydrating one that doesn't grease. It's amazing formula. I don't know what about this, but it does not grease, it doesn't look dry, and it doesn't look too hydrating. 
this is just right and I love this this is a new one I love so now we got it all organized and kind of a, a dislike over there <laughs> the maybe right below and my favorites over here the ones that I don't like over there so I'm gonna have to play with them some more decide off on another four era oh that's wet and wild oh my god I totally forgot oh my god I'm so like airheaded wet and wild uh, photo focus not a new product but I reviewed this product recently and this is pretty good actually I think I'm gonna leave this as one of my favorites pile I love that so now I have this it says conceal correct LA colors again dollar store hole but this is not conceal correct it's a liquid highlighter pretty much it has a little bit of glow I don't know if you can see it but it's kind of like when I have no makeup on if I go teach Zumba or something I can just put it in my cheeks for a little glow and it's kind of cute so I think I'm gonna put it in my other drawer because this is not a concealer so now I've got to this little sponges if you guys can see it I think you can you zoom in a little more so this are sponges that I cut in half I had this rounded sponge but it was too big my under eyes are very deep so I like to get into my inner corner by cutting them and applying concealer like that I have a little wedges I mean everybody has them just for cleaning up a little puffs here some little things so I think this looks pretty good right now and I'm gonna keep it as this I wish I had like an organizer here some kind of partitions because I have a little dead space here like a lot of it actually so now I got to the everything drawer <laughs> and this happened because my brushes used to be here and I removed my brushes into this container so now I have this everything drawer that everything goes here <laughs> I have to go through so I'm gonna remove my palettes out of here so this I'm gonna put the trash away this is BH Cosmetics uh, this highlighter uh, set I got this for like five bucks it's my recent video I still have to play with this I think I like them but they're very extra they're kind of like opaque like almost too opaque like eyeshadow I wish they were a little clear BH Cosmetics palette that I reviewed recently love it but to me it has way too many dark shimmers and metallics and not enough dark uh, mattes so I wish this were all mattes like this I wish this was a matte but it's all metallic so again I have to play with this more love this one I just ran out of space so this is from BoxyCharm and this is Ace Butte Vintage Ton, really nice. This is gonna be a long video, I have a feeling. This, again, a really nice palette, very similar to the other one, but this I bought from Juvia's Place, the Frick palette, beautiful, beautiful palette. I have a video on all of this. I'm not gonna swatch everything because it's gonna take forever. I have videos on all of the makeup I'm showing. So, this one is Snow Queen. Snow Queen cheap Amor Us Amor US palette and I have glitter on my hands already. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I like this. Has pigmentation. I don't think I want another palette from that brand because I like it enough, but not enough to buy another one. So now I have Revolution, the one I'm doing probably next week or maybe the week after. I'm very excited to get my hands on it. I have not done a review on this yet. And this is gonna be in one of my videos. Beautiful palette. Can't wait to get to that. So now I'm getting to the rest of the brushes that don't work for me. And I have a lot of trash here. I need to get rid of AliExpress brushes. This is like face brushes. They're just garbage. The brush set they came in, the brush, whole brush set was like two or three dollars. Uh, some of the brushes are okay. They're pretty good. These are garbage. So this came in BoxyCharm and this is BoxyCharm brand. This is supposed to be like contour and powder brushes. I still have to play with them. I did not like them when I first used them. I really didn't. So I have to keep playing with this, see if I like them. I need to put them in a face brush pile and not here. So that's not the place for them. Then I got two foundation brushes. One is Jessup and one Morphe. 
I hate putting foundation on the brushes. To me, foundation just goes right into the uh, bristles and it leaves my bristle mark. So I have to go back into the beauty blender. So the foundation goes into the brush, into the beauty blender, and like 30% goes on your face. So <sighs> it's pointless for me. So I'll just use the beauty blender. So I'm really, really, really close to throwing this out, but I kind of feel bad because it's a good brushes. So I think I'm gonna put them into my face brush pile. And this is another Morphe brush. I think I'm gonna put it again with the face pile. I think it's supposed to be a foundation brush, a flat one. But again, I don't like that, so I might have to find a use for it or just chuck it. You know, if I don't like it, I'll just throw it away. Put it here now. This is completely useless. I'm not even keeping it. I hated this. The Artisan brush, horrible, horrible. Everything goes inside, it blends awfully. Another cheap elf brush. I think I'll let this one go. It's very rough. It doesn't work well. It's all garbage. Oh, found another one from AliExpress. Trash. Is this trash? Uh, this one, I have a little powder on it. I might keep this. It's like a kabuki brush. It's a little powder on it. I have to decide where to put it, but... This is not bad, that's elf brush. I don't think they even make this anymore, but I guess I'll keep it for now. Flat brush, I used it, I tried it, still hate it. Uh, Luxie brush, foundation brush. I think I'm just gonna throw it away, it really does not work for me. All right, I have nothing left here. I have a little bit of sponges. I don't know why I kept them. They're coming, they came in like a cheap uh, eyeshadow palettes. I have a bunch of these. <laughs> so I probably need to trash these things. And I have a couple of spoolies that I don't need. Again, I need to trash these things as well. So now I've got the whole drawer open. So I can use this for some of my palettes probably or for something else. I probably put the foundations here because it makes more sense to have foundations next to concealers. And I have the pencil drawer here. Pencil and eyeliners and my mascaras. So I'm gonna go through this next because it's next. I haven't used this yet, but I got this next stain and frame tinted brow pomade. Because now that I have microblading, I think I can fill up my eyebrows a little bit. So I can use this in the future. I haven't tried this, but I'm going to. And I've got this that I have been using, the CoverGirl pencil. It's very, very micro fine. So it's CoverGirl, um, it's soft brown, ultra fine brown pencil. Yeah, this is good, so I'm keeping this. I have a couple of things that's so bad. I think I need to throw away the e.l.f. mascara. It's already dried up. It was pretty good when I got it and I did it for my e.l.f. video. It was very decent. I don't know if you should keep it for reference if I need another e.l.f. video. I might. Because do they expire? I guess they do. But <laughs> I want to keep this. So I have this one that I just got for my uh, haul from TJ Maxx. And I used it today and I'm I'm not sure about this, kind of on the crappy side, but again, I have to try it again. I have a Hank and Henry mascara, waterproof, boxy charm. It works, it's not the best, but it works. My favorite is Lash, Lash Princess. This is still good, I'm keeping it. I've got my top, top, top favorite, uh, dried mascara. It's kind of pricey, I don't know if I want to repurchase it. Because I like Essence Mascara as well as this, but this is amazing. This is like $24, but it's so, so good. My favorite mascara. And I got this from BoxyCharm. A Lash Drama, a Grand Drama. It's uh, pretty good, I guess. And this is from Amazon. This is Express Control, Secret Express Control Mascara. And this is a uh, waterproof. But it's good, you can remove it easily. It's kind of lengthening and thickening too. So this all my mascaras. I don't think I'm throwing away any. I don't have a lot, so I'm gonna keep all of this. I have a glitter eyeliner, which still works. It was in the dollar store. And the brand is BSN. 
BSN. It's like a strictly dollar store thing. It's nice. It works. So I'm going to put it in the back. So I got this purple eyeliner, the heart candy, it's purple, and it's old. So I think this is going. Let's see. Yeah, it's liquid, but it kind of dries weird. And when you apply it, it kind of has blank spots. So I think I'm going to just let this go. It's not all that great. So old brush going. Uh, this is for Aero Gel Eyeliner. I might keep this for reference. I wasn't a fan. It was too liquidy and too uh, runny. So it's like it's going to kind of leave imprints and run everywhere. But I'm probably going to keep it if I need it for the reference. I'm so bad. I don't want to get rid of anything now. <laughs> so I have a bunch of these. So I might need this little spoolies just to clean up mascara off my face. So I might keep this. This is a new and the eyebrow pencil. I kind of keep the eyebrow pencils with my eyeliners because it kind of goes. So now I have the Hank and Henry eyeliner. This is for boxy charm, and this is real good. I'm keeping this. Another one from Ipsy Bag. This is a purple one. I'm not gonna swatch it, but it's kind of a average. It's pretty good. I can use it in the future. The one I really like, the liquid eyeliner, is from Essence. And it's super last 18 hour. It's waterproof. It's great. Uh, this is from a dollar store. I think this can go. It's LA Colors liquid eyeliner. It's very, very reflective. It's like too uh, shiny. So I think I'm gonna let this go. So now I've got uh, the good one, Milani Stay Put Matte. That's a great little eyeliner. I'm not sure if I'm gonna focus. I can't see anything. <laughs> So this is a good eyeliner and I got Thrive eyeliner as well. Alright, so now the next drawer. So what we got here is a bunch of everything again. Running out of space, so I need to organize. So these are the palettes that's from NYX and Makeup Revolution. They're both contour and highlight. They're nice palettes, I use them both. So we're going to keep this. I'm going to put this up here so we can decide where to go later. And I have this Dua from Wonder Beauty. And this is from BoxyCharm. So again, I'm going to keep this because this is a really, really nice cool tone bronzer and a nice pinkish blush. So keeping those. Then I've got the Problematic brand from BoxyCharm. Came in a BoxyCharm. I still like it. It's very subtle highlighter. I have the review in my previous BoxyCharm video. It's really nice. So. I'm not gonna buy any Too Faced products because the brand is kind of too problematic for me, but this is a nice highlighter, I'm keeping it, and I'm gonna put this to the side. Uh, the two products I have here that I do like on the makeup days that I'm too lazy to put liquid foundation is Aqua Assurance. I love this. This is a nice powder, it does not make you look dry, and it's full coverage. Really, really good. So that J Cats Aqua Assurance, I got natural and ivory. Ivory for the p uh, parts of my face that I need to highlight. And the natural one is my color. So I'm going to keep this. And again, I'm not sure I'm going to put them. I might have to make a room in the same drawer, but I have to decide. So now I've got this e.l.f. And this is e.l.f. setting powder for under eyes, I think. It's awful. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. I did not like it at all. Throw it away. Another HD setting powder by RK Kiss, Ruby Kisses. Um, still have to keep drying it, but it's almost like it's too fine. And it makes my face look too dry or something. I don't know. Gotta give it another try. I'm gonna put it out here. I'm not sure what this drawer is gonna be, but not this. <laughs> uh, the Lace Revolution powder. Um, I have to another, give it another go. Because it's a baking powder. I don't bake and I find it powder being drying. But I'm gonna give this another try as a setting powder and I might I might have to throw it away if uh, I don't like it because I really did not like it at first. Again, this is for the future organizing. So I've got this puffs and I don't know why it's in this drawer. Again, I have to figure it out. Elf. Press powder, clarifying. 
I don't even know where this came from. I think it's from years and years ago. And I'm throwing this away. This is awful. Another BSN uh, glitter. And I think I need to put it in my glitters. Both of them. All the glitters are here. So I'll put them glitter with glitter. So these are my favorite gl glitters from Care Beauty. They are amazing. I have them in so many colors. They're all great. This is up on my channel. I have reviews of them all. So I'm just going to organize them. This is another brand. This is a topper by Barry M. Great topper. I'm going to keep this for now. A little tiny elf eyeshadow duo. It was a free with a purchase. Um, I might keep it because I use this as a blush. So I'm going to put this away to put with blushes. Eyeshadow. I don't know why it's here. For wear. Really nice eyeshadow. It does not belong to this drawer. I need to find a room for this. This is Tarte. A smooth operator clay finishing powder and I forgot about it it was a sample from one of the ipsy bags I need to put this with powders for now I'm gonna go through this later uh, full era glitter great great glitter but full era again purple oh another care beauty almost forgot this and I have this I have not used yet it's color icon by wet n wild and I think it's a little too gooey, but we're going to keep this to decide whether I want to throw it away. And some random glitter that I probably need to throw away. It's like loose pieces of something, which looks odd. I'll keep it for now. I'm such a hoarder. This is an awesome product. This is by Barry M Liquid Glitter. It's literally like a lotion and glitter together. You put it in your arms when you go out and you sparkle all night. I love this. I'm going to keep this. I've been using this every time I go out. New Elf Glitter. It's nice, but I like Cara Beauty better. So I'm going to keep this for future. And another powder I have not been using because I forgot I have it. That's Ciate London. Uh, that's translucent powder. I need to give this another try. So I'm going to put this in my powders. This should go with the powders. And this is this for glitter, so I can put something more, maybe some more highlighters here. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. So next, I'm going to go to highlighter drawer. And I think you guys, some of you are interested in this. So this is highlighter, bronzer, and my blush. So it's like all together. So there's some stuff here from Dollar Store. Probably needs to go. So this is Color Mates. It's a um, Dollar Tree brand. This is kind of a, I think it's a blush, right? Yeah, it is blush. But it, there's almost no color payoff. It's a little bit, and it's really crap. So this is going. This is an easy decision. Some of the LA colors are nice, but this is not one of them. Another LA colors from the same video. This is a bronzer. And this is kind of nice, so I think I'm going to keep this. So I'm going to put it here for now. Then I have Hula Benefit, real sample. Again, forgot I have it. And I still have it here. I need to use this more. So let's go through the ones I need to throw away. So Benefit, Beauty Benefits. That's from another dollar store, local store, 99 cent. And I don't know if I like it. So that's another bronzer. It kind of has a little glow to it. It looks like it could work. Probably should give it another try because it kind of feels very creamy. I'm so bad. I'm keeping everything. <laughs> and this is another blush from the same Beauty Benefits. Again, everything is a dollar. This is really pretty blush. Keeping it. Now what I'm not keeping is kind of crap. Physician's formula. I got it on sale in Walmart. This is like a multicolored highlighting powder. I don't know. It has no color payoff for me. It's kind of creamy, but it doesn't really work well. It's like almost too dark and chunky. It's just awful. I love Physician's formula, but this is awful. I wonder why it was on sale in Walmart. Hmm. I wonder why. So I got this. That I have not used in a while. Oh. 
I'm losing my SHIT. <laughs> so this is um, Sunlight Bronzer by Rimmel. And this is a nice bronzer. Again, one of those things I forgot I have. So we can put the bronzers on the side here. This is a revolution item that I got kind of as a free gift. And this is Rival. It's like a foiled eyeshadow. Again, if I gotta have it. It's really, really, really creamy. This is gorgeous. And I really need to start using it because I forget that I had it. So, put it over here. And what are the bronzers? I think something here needs to go for sure. And this is another wet and wild color icon. This is so greasy and there is almost no color payoff. Just awful, awful glitter. Another one that needs to go off. I used this up so I can make my own highlighter for that video. And this is like a, a glowy powder. So now that I'm trying it, now it works. So I guess I'll have to give it another try, right? <laughs> I'm so bad. I guess I'll have to keep this. But some things will have to go out of here. What else do I have here? All right, Beauty Fit Benefits Contour Palette. Contour shade, just a little too dark, right? And the highlight is pretty light. I might use this for drag makeup. Uh, I don't want to let this go. Oh, Elf Body Gel Highlighter. I liked it at first when I got it, but I think it's like a changed texture. I think it expired. It looks beautiful, right? But it dries very quickly. I think it expired, like legit expired. It looks very different now. So I might have to throw this away. I'll put it up here for a uh, further review. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is not going well. I was supposed to throw away stuff, not keep it. So, Master Bronzer. I got this for like a couple of bucks in the dollar store. I don't know why it was there, but it works real well. And again, I forgot to head it. So, put this together with the bronzers. This one I can throw away. I don't really like this that much. The contour and highlight. I think I like Beauty Benefits better. This has almost no color payoff, LA colors. All right, finally, I trashed something. So let me see which ones I need to throw away. The bronzers I'm keeping. Ah, uh, the butter bronzer. I still like it. I think the tone I got, it says bronzer. I think I have darker ones. I think, I think it's almost like too light for my skin tone, but I'm going to keep using it because it's nice consistency. Pacifica. This was in um, either Elf or was it in the Box of Charm? Might be in Box of Charm. This is nice. It's a duo of blush and bronzer. I'm keeping this. So I'm going to put this on the side. A Wet n Wild highlighter. One of my favorites, if you guys are interested in knowing, I mean, I like all my highlighters, but some of them I like more than the others. And some colors are different than others. This is Blossom Glow, but Wet in the Wild. And this one, one of my favorites. It's beautiful. It builds up nicely. It's pink and gold. This one is gorgeous. I love it. I've used it a lot. I'm still using it. I'm going to put it out here. This is turning back into mess real quick because I don't want to throw away anything. And it's hard to organize here, unfortunately. So Milani highlighter, really, really nice. I'm not going to sample it because I had the video on this. One of my favorites. It's somewhere along the lines was Wet n Wild. I love this as, as good as the other one. Elf highlighter, the one I really hated. This is white gold. This is like a big highlighter. Once I scraped the layer from the top, now all underneath is really blinding. For some reason, now it works. So, what do you know? So, I might keep it for future reference. Not my favorite, but it kind of works now. 
I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this. So the contour and the highlight. All right, where's my other stuff? This is for the future reference. Another highlighting palette that I like, and I got a while ago, like almost two years ago, Revolution Pro. It's like odd colors, but blue is odd, but it's beautiful, beautiful payoff. I really love this. I think it's kind of on the same page as Wet n Wild, the pink one I have. I really, really like this one. This is not getting very organized. Another uh, interesting find from I Ipsy Bag. I got this Ofra, Ofra in an Ipsy bag. This was great and I love it. This is my favorite pale highlighter. It's a Star Island, so if you're pale, it's really good. There's real high payoff. This one is amazing. Look at that. This is a really, really beautiful highlighter. I would say it's like a higher end and I got it in an Ipsy bag. This was really unbelievably beautiful. So now we get into AliExpress stuff and Chinese stuff. Beautiful packaging, a focal lure, nice brand. And this is a really nice highlighter. Again, great payoff, blinding, absolutely blinding. Very inexpensive. Go to focal lure website and check it out. Then I have another focal, uh, focal lure, yeah. This one is almost like wet, but it really goes dry. It's best to apply with the finger, and this has a lot of glitter. So this is like, if you put it on the top, see, you get like glitter spe speckles. So it does give you a little texture, but it's beautiful. I love this. So my highlighters. Another Foera highlighter. I loved it when I first got it. Now, I don't know. I kind of feel like the more I use it, the less I like it. It still has payoff. But I have so many highlighters that are like way better than this. And now I'm sampling it, it looks nice. But I don't know. I guess I'll have to put it in a maybe pile. Maybe out there somewhere. Put it out there. So here's a highlighter I don't like because it's too dark for my skin tone, Morphe. Honestly, I don't remember how I got it. Was it in a bag? A sample? Somebody gave it to me? I don't remember buying it. <laughs> But it's almost like a, for deeper skin tone. It gives me a cast. I don't really like it. I think I'm going to throw it away. I really am not going to use it anyway. So now we got to get into my favorite highlighters so here. So I'm going to put them here. So another dollar store. This might go. It was nice, but it's a dollar store. You know, I don't really care. It's almost like it's too opaque. It's like paint. So this is going LA colors. LA colors in general, they're mostly crap, but you know, sometimes you get something nice, but mostly crap. So now we got Elf Duo. This is a nice blush duo, Fiji blush and bronzer. I'm definitely gonna keep it on the side of blush and bronzers. So I'll put the, the doubles here, all the duos. And all the bronzes separately. So another one I'm on fence uh, that's too dark. I got it on sale as well. And this is butter highlighter. It's too golden. It's too dark. Well, it's my own fault. I got the color. It's way too dark for my skin tone. It's beautiful, but it's way too dark. But I kind of don't want to throw it away because I can put it in my eyelid. Uh, I'm keeping it. Now, the stuff that I do want to throw away is some old stuff. I'm not even sure where it came from. It's almost empty. It's like a loose uh, glittery eyeshadow. It's empty. I don't know why it's in here. And I, I don't even know what brand it is. <laughs> old maybe an eyeshadow that's empty. Almost empty. It's all thrown away. I don't even use it. Got this one, 250 on sale in Walmart. It's that one of those things that's multi-tone that I still have to play with. I'm not sure what I feel about it. See, I like these together, right? But when you get into blues, that becomes a little too weird, right? So that's not a highlighter anymore. So that's why I was on sale. Wet n Wild color icon. 
I'm keeping it in the back for the reference and I'm not sure when I'm gonna throw it away but it's probably gonna go away <laughs> so now we get into focal lure and this is supposed to be a highlighter but this is too dark for my skin tone so it's like a blush I'm so lit right now my hand is lit so that's pink so I use it as a very highlighting blush so I'm gonna put it next to blush Milani Luminoso my favorite blush like right now I like this the best it's a little glowy but it's not too much and this is like real glowy <laughs> another one from BoxyCharm Ciate blush nice blush really pretty you'll see it in my BoxyCharm reviews I don't remember which month it was but kind of nice pinkish tone so I'll keep in this and now we get into the Franken highlighter Franken highlighter another brush that needs to go that I made myself I have a video up where I make my own highlighter and this is what I created and this really 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 pigmented to highlight all the highlighters it's really really light I don't know if you get it in focus but it's really bright it's kind of now that it dried out a little bit in this uh, container it kind of get a duller I don't know what happened to it, but it was nice when it started. So I got another color icon item, Wet Wild. And this is a nice blush. It's kind of a peachy pink. It's really pretty. So I use this a lot as well. I'm keeping this. I put blush in the middle. Highlighter here. Another glow highlighter. And this is purple, which is weird. So I might have to let this go. That's a dollar store and it was one dollar. It's kind of dull. So I'm going to chuck this. And what else is here? Ooh, that elf is in the back. Oh, I got to throw this away. I got this as a bronzer. But what was I thinking in the dollar store? This is like legit for like a dark skin people. I can't put this as a bronzer on my face. I don't know why I thought I was going to get get away with this. But that's like too dark. There is no way. Throw this away. Again, it was a dollar item, so it doesn't care. I don't care. What else is here? Oh, beauty benefits highlighters. Almost forgot. My back is getting tired from standing here. Ow. So these are kind of nice, but this is one of those things. It's so powdery and chunky. When you put it on. It's like white paint. It's like too crazy and too uh, too dull, too opaque. It's almost like too much. I think it's one of those things that can let go. It's a dollar store item that's not really worth getting. So I'm doing good now. So now I have another highlighter. And that's a, oh wait, that's the same blush. I have a highlighter here. It's the same Focal Lure brand, but this is lighter. This actually looks like a highlighter. So I'm gonna keep this, because this is real nice. I like that. So I'm gonna put it next to the highlighters. So now I've got highlighters over here, the ones that I don't use that much, and the ones I do. And here are the blushes. Put this next to the blushes, it's a bronzer. The ones that I don't use are gonna go in the back, and the one I use the most gonna go here. And I almost forgot, another one, Halloween edition. This is real extra. It's like almost purple, purple white highlighter, but this could be used for special occasions. So I'm gonna keep this in the back for future reference. Now I can put the Too Faced highlighter in the same pile here, and this is gonna be more organized. The highlighters in here, the blush in the middle. I don't have a lot of blush. I noticed mostly highlighters. But it's okay. I'm not into blushes as much as highlighters. But this is gonna go into the same drawer because I use this as a blush. And this is gonna go here, the Wonder Beauty, because it has blush and bronzer. So I'm gonna go, this duo goes here. And I can put the contour palettes here as well because it's in the same category. So now we're getting organized, finally. So next drawer, lipsticks, and this is going to take a while. 
editing this is gonna be a bitch. I'm telling you something. I have a whole bag full of crap from Dollar Store I'm throwing away. All right, it's definitely some stuff I'm not gonna use again. So I've got this Colormate Long Lasting Formula, and this is from a Dollar Store. It's kind of a, a very glowy lipstick, and I think it's real crap. A really chew chew creamy and it's gonna flow glow and uh, slip and slide so this was just for the dollar store review video so this go in and I have a couple more of this I think I have lip balm which I forgot I had so this is gonna go into the front door here where I keep my lip balms so I have Heart. and this is a uh, lip cream I got this in the ipsy bag I think I don't know if you can see it if it's focused but anyway this is kind of a color I don't like it's way too creamy when you put it on it's literally gonna go against the lines all over it's probably not gonna even stay so I'm throwing this away and that's not my color I hate those kind of colors Another mistake by a cheap stuff. I think I got it for like jukebox, RK Ruby cases. It looked pretty online, but in real person, in real life, it's way too crazy. This color is insane, and it's again too creamy. It's like ugly pink. I love pink, but this is like ugly pink. <laughs> I don't know. I'm losing my mind. This is taking way too long. So, ugly pink is going. Laritzi. This is a dupe hot illuminating. I think it's kind of a dupe highlighter. And I don't think I've been using I have been using it. But I think I've been using it on my lips as a topper. And I might have to get rid of it because it really doesn't work well for either. It, I don't like the texture. It kind of slips and slides. I think another one here is uh, BH Cosmetics Cashmere Cream. This is from a newest video and it did not work for me. I might have to give it another go before I toss it. It seemed like it was a little bit too sheer, but now it doesn't seem like sheer, right? So I'll give this another try. Old old lips, lipstick, like real old, probably expired, but the color is amazing. It's like a brown, like a real cool brown. I just can't get rid of it. I can't. <laughs> I use it once in a while still. So I'm gonna put this in the back for maybe. Elf pencil. I use it for elf videos. That's a tea rose. It's kind of like a pencil like lipstick. This is a real nice lipstick. I like it. The color is so pretty. See? So I'm keeping this. I'm gonna kind of put it in the back. Old lip brush, which is kind of disgusting. It's old. And this is going. I don't even know how many years I had it. Years, like years and years. Maybe like over 10 years. It's disgusting. Uh, this is another dollar store, Smoke and Mirrors. And I think I should let this go because I'm not sure how safe this is for my lips. It doesn't smell bad, but kind of an average color. And being a dollar store brand, I kind of don't trust this. So I'm throwing this away. And my battery is dying. Hold on, let me change the battery. All right, battery changed. Back in business. Editing this is going to be so bad. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. That's lipsticks and that's lip pencils. So I think I need to put all the pencils on one side. This is definitely going, that's old. And I used it up and I don't use that bright pink. This is Juicy Bubble Gum. I think it's Maybelline. And it's old, I don't really like it anymore. Another thing I have to go let go, it's like bright red, but it's one of the creamy things I don't like. And this is from Ipsy Back. I'm not even sure what kind of brand that is. It's a weird packaging. Trastic, something like that. 
It has magnet, which is cool, but I hate this color. So this is going. And the same thing, Smashbox. Smashbox, good brand, got it in the Ipsy bag and the color is wrong. Probably expired, I think it's been years. It's just like this awful orange. I don't look good with dark tones. I don't look good, good with the, like a brown oranges. So this is going to trash. A Barry M liquid lip, real good. I like it. I love Barry M liquid lipsticks. That's British brand. If you guys are from UK, you know it. Love Barry M. And I almost threw this. I actually almost used this up. So might as well put it in the front so it can hit the pan and use it up. The one I don't like a lot, but I have used it for the look. This was called Valentine's Day look. And this is Velvet Hola Neon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Really good quality. Not my color, but for certain looks, I'll use it. So I'll put it in the back just for certain looks. Same thing with this. A forever matte liquid lipstick and this is like a Kylie lip copy I think from a dollar store and I have my hairs like everywhere I'm shedding like a cat that's Ruby Kisses black it's a real nice black matte I'm gonna keep this for occasions that is required black matte <laughs> what are the bright colors profusion profusion kit that I got in a dollar store very decent actually, I have not used this yet, but this is kind of a nice gloss, it's a very weird color, again one of those kind of uglier pinks, I don't know how I feel about it, Let's zoom in a little bit more, so I'm still not sure what I feel about this one, so I think I'm gonna keep it for the future reference, so I'm gonna put the weird colors in the back, the ones I'm not sure about, so the thing, this is the uh, Jeffree Star knockoff from Aliexpress and this color was actually nice and it looks good on my lips. This one I'm going to keep. I don't know if you feel like it's safe to buy this kind of things, but I've used it multiple times. It didn't do anything for my lips. It looks nice and creamy. It's matte, but it's not dry. I'm keeping this. I'm going to put this in my, like, now wear, like all these browns. So what's cheap stuff? Oh yeah, I have this, another odd color, the color I don't wear every day, but it looked amazing. This is from New Year's look by 1920s look. This is a liquid cat suit, and this is by the Wet n Wild. A real nice color, it's like a deep burgundy. Again, for certain looks, but not for everything. I'm gonna put it in the back. And LA colors, probably gonna go. It's another one of those weird, creamy textures. It's really cheap and it's really awful quality from my dollar store makeup look. Not worth skipping, throw it away. Another one from dollar store, smoke and mirrors. I'm not sure what to do with it. Maybe I'll use it as a liquid eyeshadow because it literally looks like liquid eyeshadow, but it's supposed to be a lipstick. But now that I'm thinking, I'll put it in my liquid eyeshadow drawer because it's really, really glittery. So we're gonna put this in here and give it a go. <laughs> so another weird color, weird for me because I don't wear reds, is a Profusion lipstick. And I'm gonna keep this, again for the looks that I need reds, right in the back. Another one of this Profusion red ones, so we'll go here. Profusion fuchsia kind of uh, pink. Again, not my everyday look, it's gonna go over here. And this is a Focalure nude, really, really pretty nude. This is regular, really going to be one of my everyday colors. Again, I forgot that I had this. I'm gonna put this here. Wet n Wild. Got this in the dollar store. Again, too glossy, too glittery, too slip and slidey. It was a dollar going not even worth keeping for the reference it's awful this is a ruby kisses and this is again one of the 
kind of cheapy items. I think it was like a two bucks online. And I like this. It's a matte lip, but it's not too matte. It's like real velvety lipstick that doesn't really um, get very crusty. And the color is really purplish, mauve color. So I'm going to keep this in my cheaper pile. Uh, this is from like a dollar store set, I think. So I might keep this. It's a nice, it's creamy, but it's not overly creamy. So let me put this away. It's a dollar store. Same thing, dollar store, dollar store. That's another one from, I think it's from Ipsy Bag, or was it Boxy Charm? The color not here, not there. I'm kind of not crazy about it. It's not brown, it's not red, it's not purple. I don't know what that is, but it's not really pretty. I don't like it. I think I'm going to chuck this. I don't like it at all. The blue pencil by Absolutely New York. This is for my blue look. I love this. For the extra extreme looks, perfect. I'm going to put this in the back. So I got this two Foera ones. These Foera lipsticks, they literally smell like paint and they feel like paint. I might have to throw them away because I'm really worried about safety on this on the lips. They didn't do anything on my lips, but I'm worried. So I think for that reason I'm just going to throw them away so I'm not even tempted to use them. So I've got Revolution Matte. It's not bad, it's not great, it's a little see-through, it takes a little bit to build up. The color is nice, but it's kind of like, I don't know, it look, takes a long time to dry and I don't know, I'm not really a fan. I think I'm going to throw this away, I really don't like it. Sorry Revolution, I like a lot of Revolution stuff, but this is not one of them. Another one by Ruby Kisses, very matte, very pretty, a little too light, but might work. Then I have... Another one from a dollar store. It's kind of like a matte lipstick. Just a bullet lipstick. It works. The color is kind of neutral. They're all very neutral. Another Jeffree Star knockoff. It's like an awful, awful, awful Barbie pink. And it feels awful on the lips. But compared to the other one, this one is just terrible. Trash. So, this is a great one. Milani. Milani really really nudie lipstick. I'm not gonna t uh, put it in my hand, but it's a really nice one. It's matte in a sense, and I highly recommend this. It's really nice. So, the liquid cat suit, another one, it's kind of a mauve color. I love this one too. So the neutrals here, here, and here. Liquid lipsticks go to the side. Barium. Focalure. Focalure is really nice liquid lipstick. It's kind of a mauve uh, purplish color. It's really good. This one, a known brand from BoxyCharm, I think. And it's a nice color. It's a very pretty lipstick. Very kind of a neutral tone. So I can put it up here with my other maybes. So the lipstick I like also is a revolution matte lipstick naked i really like this one it's really pretty really light so this one i'm keeping next to milani and focalure there's some nice lipsticks and the liquid anastasia this is from my haul this one of my favorite i'm wearing now it's amazing amazing deal from tj maxx i'm so keeping this is going to be my staple now and uh, the Superstay Matte Ink is almost the same color as Anastasia, but it's a little bit more drying, I think. So I'm going to put this in here next to it. Now we get into glossier ones. Wet n Wild Liquid Cut 2, the glossy, really, really nude. This is the color Cut You Bare Naked, and this is really nice. So now we're getting somewhere. And this is Pout Bomb Candy Revolution Lip Gloss. Amazing lip gloss. 
again, my favorite lip gloss, hands down. So I'm going to put it here. And it's getting almost organized. Beauty benefits from a dollar store. I know off the bat, right off the bat, there was crap. This is going. So now we get it into. Yeah, that's another gloss by ColourPop. Love it. Almost ran out of it already. I'm hitting the pan, so this is almost out. So now we're getting pencils, and most of these can work, except for some bright ones. This fuchsia one is kind of weird. I don't think I have a lipstick for that, but I might want to keep it for the future. I might need this. I'm not even sure what brand it is. I think it's a dollar store brand. So I'm going to put all the fuchsia weird colors on the top. All the neutrals here. I have a couple of perfusion ones. Barry M. Barry M is a nice lip pencil. Neutrals. Perfusion ones are okay. My favorite lip pencils, lip liners, are Milani. Real creamy, real nice. They have a lot of nudes and neutrals. I love them. And this is what? That's NYX. That's NYX and it's red, so I'm going to put it back So because I didn't use this every day. This is Wet n Wild Color Icon. It's another neutral. I'm going to put it up. It's a little too dark. Maybelline. It's a nice nude lip pencil as well. So I'm going to keep all the nudes here and all the dark ones here. dark and it's new all right now it looks nice actually this looks nice before it was a mess so we're getting somewhere all right setting sprays and some miscellaneous stuff all right so setting sprays I'm almost out of this morphe spray and I love it so much so I kind of don't use it every day but it's almost out but it's like it you squeeze it and you squeeze it and it's still warm uh, and so it's still there which one I don't like is this and I'm almost out and I don't think I can use it up the smell is just disgusting and the spray is awful this is wet n wild natural finish setting spray it's so bad the smell is just makes me gag so I'm throwing this away so elf hydrating coconut mist really nice mist it's a little aggressive spray but I like the way it looks I'm keeping this and the Lani Make It Last, a real nice spray. I like it. So now we got Catrice. Ooh, this Catrice Dewey. Dewey. Amazing. Amazing. Love it. Another one from Iconic London. That's from uh, BoxyCharm. Very expensive if you buy it yourself. And the BoxyCharm was a good deal. Love this. The one I'm not sure about what I'm spraying my face is Foera. It smells kind of odd. It smells nice, but I'm scared. I'm a little scared about this one. The foundation for her I love. But with this, something is iffy about it. So I'm throwing this away just to be safe. Now I've got a little single eyeshadows from Ipsy Bags. They just don't do anything for me. They're just kind of ugly. I've used them. And I'm going to check them. Dollar Store eyeshadows. Throw them away. Awful, awful quality. Old, uh makeup from Sally's all shimmery and it's not all that great quality this is a kind of memorabilia for me you know the keepsake because it's from years ago that I didn't own a lot of makeup this is from the times that I only had this and maybe like another trio and it's all I had for my everyday look for everything so but it's time to let go that period of my life is over So I got some Ipsy Bag Low Treasures, which are kind of like, eh, crappy. So this one is going. I'm not really sure what brand these are. Ella Eden. It's very average. Nothing special. This one, Hikari, single one. It's kind of nice. Again, from Ipsy Bag. I'm not sure why I need to keep this, but I kind of want to keep this for now. I'm going to put it up here to decide. Elf Prism Eyeshadow. Do you see this? What it comes with? 
And where did I get this from? I don't know, but I'm throwing it away. And the whole thing, I've used this, again, this is from my time in my life. I had no money for the eyeshadows. And that's all I had. And I used this everywhere. This all metallics, by the way. Yes. <laughs> I used all metallics on my eyeballs. <laughs> that's hilarious. And it's old and needs to go. Bye bye, old life. This is another keepsake. That's when I went to the Wendy show for the first time in my life to be in the audience. And I was so excited. And she noticed me in the audience. And she said she liked my wig. She was so nice to me. And everybody got a gift. When they're walking out, everybody got Urban Decay palette. This is this thing that I can't throw away. This is like a keepsake. It's all like a busted now. But I've used it. And I might still use it. I should do a look with it maybe. It's kind of like too dark. You know, but the quality is real good. So I'm gonna keep this, and I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this, but this is a setting spray drawer, so I could put something else here when they decide what. And now we're going to everything drawer. I've got this press glitters, and this is Beauty Glaze from AliExpress. Amazing. You really, really get a lot in this. I don't think you can use it without glitter glue, well, maybe a little bit, but it works better with the glitter glue. I'm not going to dig in there because it's going to be a mess. But this is pretty good. And again, another one for future references because I'm not putting this on my eyes again. Tati Beauty, and that's a fake one. Very realistic looking, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid for my eyes, so I'm just going to keep this for future reference. Alright, these are the ones I think I can uh, give away. To like a women's shelter, Kiss Crown. I played with it. This is Jeffree Star knockoff, but it's not all that great. It was okay, you can make a look with it, but I think I'm kind of over it. So I'm gonna put this away to the stuff I can just give away. The Elf palette, it was nice actually. This was a very, very decent palette, but I think that's another one I'm over. I'm not even sure what was the name of this. I'm gonna put this away for giveaway. Another opposite to track palette. It's, which is kind of nice, but again, it's kind of underwhelming. It's not the stuff that I'll reach for. And I have so many palettes, so I'm kind of gonna put this aside. Maybe I'll keep one of them for future reference for e.l.f. And this is Wonderlust. This is Profusion palette. It kind of makes me want to go back and play with it. I think I will. I have not touched this in a while and do not want to let this go. This could be good for future references. It's a really, really nice palette. So the ones I'm getting rid of and going to trash is Dollar Store eyeshadows. I mean, there is nothing good about them. You can make a look just for the video, but other than that, it's crap. And now the Dollar Store stuff. Dollar Store dollar store dollar store <laughs> I don't think I can even donate those because they're just awful uh, Celestia's Thunder Dominic Cosmetics I need to play with this some more again that's the thing I forgot about that I had it so I need to really play with this so I'm gonna put this into this pile here in the maybe pile this one I do play with and I still like it and this is a goddess, Alter Ego. I've just been playing with it lately and kind of put it away because I wasn't that interested in it. But I'm going to put this here. Oh, this is just awful. The Profusion Studio Blush Palette. The quality is so bad, I don't think I can even donate this to anyone. It's just awful. So the, I got this in the dollar store. Same thing, Contra Palette. Just awful quality, bad, just bad. Somebody's texting me, probably my husband. Another one I got in Ross, Dress for Less. And this is very average. There is one shimmer here, the blue, that spoke to me. And it's so pretty. It's a really, really pretty color. But how many colors do I have like that? I really need to get rid of it. The payoff with the rest is real bad. So I'm going to put this into the get rid of file. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with them. AliExpress brushes, they need to be thrown away. 
the eyeshadows that burn my eyes, the Ace Beauty. I don't know what happened to them, but when I put these eyeshadows on my eyes, I literally get burned on my eyelids. So this will have to go. This will have to go. Elf Body Eye Primer. Oh my God, I had so many high hopes. Oh, I kind of want to give it another try because I'll put it here. I'll give it another try. It's kind of dry. So now I have this whole drawer so I can fill this with the palettes I don't use a lot for the future reference. So I'll put Tidy Beauty here. I'll put the glitter because I don't use this glitter a lot. And I'll put the old palettes here. The This uh, palette that I haven't used a lot, Urban Decay. This one I have to get my hands on. Again, the ones I don't use a lot, but I have to get my hands on, so I'll put them here. So we're going pretty good here now. So I'm almost done. So I have these drawers here. I don't know if you can see them. Like here. Let me zoom out. So all of these drawers are pretty much other miscellaneous items, except for the palette drawer. So we're gonna go right for the palette drawer. So all of these are probably gonna keep. I don't think I wanna tr throw away anything from here. The original Jaclyn Hill, you all know this. It works really, really good. I forgot how good this was. So I used it the other day and I was like, dang, this is a good palette, I forgot. So I'm using this, keeping this. The Care Beauty, the beautiful rainbow palette, the California palette using this and I'm keeping this. I have reviews of all of this on my channel so if you're interested you can look it up. I think I'm gonna let go although I can't believe I'm letting this go. The Fantasy, the Unchangeable changeable Fantasy palette. This is a dupe for James Charles. So for the James Charles dupe it's very good but it's kind of like a lackluster. I just can't some reason I never reach for it. So I'm gonna put this into the throwaway or I don't know what else I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> Nobody's gonna take it. <laughs> so now I have Hyundai and Renaissance. I gotta play with this some more cheap as hell. Look how light it is. Uh, from AliExpress. I'm gonna keep this, put this away next to AliExpress. Um, one of my favorites, no doubt. Tahani Revolution palette. I'm gonna put this here, keep this. Of course, my only, one of my only expensive palettes, the Tati palette. I'll put this next to all my bigger palettes. I have to organize them by size, I think. The Sunrise, so this is uh, Huda Beauty, the New Nude palette dupe, and this is from Focalore. Nice. Very nice quality, so I'll put them next to nice small palettes. Another Cara Beauty, that's the one, a Valentine's Day look. Real nice, real good quality, perfect. And I'll put this next to my small size palettes. Another big palette by Morphe, I have not reached in a while because I got bored with it, but there is really nothing wrong with it. And this is an uh, Artistry Palette 35M. It's real beauty. Makes me want to go back to it, you know. And another one of the Morphe 35V. And this is beautiful too. I, I hit the pan on the light one. <laughs> it rarely happens when I hit the pan. So we're getting there, going through it. Another AliExpress uh, Focalure Ever Changing. And that's the dupe, I think they were trying to dupe, uh, uh, I forgot what is it, ABH Cosmetics, the, the one that nobody liked, I forgot the name of it. So I'm going to put this next to the other one that looks similar, ABH dupe. Then we got this Huda Beauty dupes by Beauty Glazed, and my hair is all over them. <laughs> so... A red, the pink, nice one. The quality is amazing on this, by the way. If you go to AliExpress and look at Beauty Glaze, all of this are nice. Real, real nice. I still keep going back to this to use, so. 
I need to clean up this drawer and wipe it first. <laughs> Focalure Night Elf. Very simple, very purplish. Very nice. I have a review of this. And got Revolution. Beautiful, beautiful palette. I keep going to it. Utopia palette. Really nice. A lot of purples, a lot of blues. The Morphium any MUA. Really nice palette. Very neutral, very beautiful. It's easy to create like a real simple look. I'll keep this. A revolution and beautiful purples. This one gorgeous. I still keep on going back to this too. I'm such a hoarder. I just can't. I can't throw away anything really. Like really. And we got the new beauty. Blue. Ooh, I love this. This is so nice. So now I need to wipe this down. I'll be right back. So I took a little break and I found another palette I cannot believe I forgot about because I'm wearing it on my eyeballs but it's so irregular that I forgot where it was. So and this is the Jeffree Star palette and I already forgot where it's at. The Conspiracy. I put it in the same drawer with my primers just because I have no room for this kind of thing. And that's what I don't like about Jeffree Star packaging. It's so ridiculous that I don't know where to put this. So this is going with my primers because I just can't I have no room for this. So now this is organized. I have my concealers on top, my foundations next after this, and I'll put pencils and eyebrow pencils and mascaras here and eyeliners. And then I have primers. I should have probably put the primers before the concealers. I don't know. I'm confused and I'm tired. So this is what it is and it's gonna be there. <laughs> so I got all the glitters and I put Beauty Glaze glitter palette here. It's kind of not very efficient because it's very empty. So now I got uh, this drawer is very full because it's bronzers, it's blushes, it's contour palettes and highlighters all in one drawer. So it's kind of like a little bit uneven but that it is what it is. So I've got all the lipsticks and lip liners here. I've got, I put sponges here with the setting spray. So all the puffs and sponges in the same drawer. Now it's organized. I have a little bit of facial masks here. And I have unused palette that I'm gonna review. And I have some palettes I don't really reach for, but I wanna reach for in the future. And they went here. Some of the cheaper ones and the good palettes in here. You know, all the ones that I really, really want to use more. So they're all in here. And this is just my Q-tips and stuff, just personal care. I have my eyelashes here with the eyelash glue. That was pretty organized. I have no problems with eyelashes. And I have some makeup bags here. When I travel, I like to put things into different makeup bags. And this is all Ipsy bags, so it was all free. So some headbands and Ipsy bags. <laughs> And I have a couple of palettes actually thrown away. And these are powders. That's ones I haven't gone through yet. But I'm keeping this. I love Aqua Insurance. Uh, I think I'm going to throw this away. This was just horrible. That's Physician's Formula I got on sale. And this is supposed to have SPF. Healthy powder. But it's like freaking chalk. It's so awful. Just awful. Maybe I should give it another try. <laughs> I'm sick. I just can't. You know, I've seen somebody use it on YouTube and I think they liked it and I'm like, wait, wait, I need to try this again. <laughs> I'm so bad. But I'm throwing away this. The Beauty Benefits and Color Mates. Uh, it, the, yeah. That's dollar store. It's awful. So these are going. And I'm going to keep this for future use. I need to give this another try. That setting powder, which is kind of odd quality. The Halo Glow Elf, amazing. I'm keeping this. The Elf powder, this one, it doesn't even have a puff with it, but it's really nice. This is a Prime and Stay finishing powder. It's like two bucks, but this is really, really good. If you, have, uh, if you get your hands on this, you should really try this. Very inexpensive, very good. Uh, Maybelline Fit Me, one of my favorites. It's amazing. 
the air spawn smells like crap, but it's great. A mixing little thing. And uh, ooh, 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 if you live in UK, you know what that is. Revolution Skin Finish Opalescent. Thank you to Missa from Make Me Up Missa. She got me on it. Love it. It's a finishing glow. Amazing. That's some just random white powder that's not really white. I might keep it until I decide to throw it away. And I really need to try this again, the baking powder, just as a setting powder. Tart. I'll try it. Yeah, I'll try it. So now it's more organized. I'm not sure where this came from. I think it came from uh, one of the assurances. I think I'll just leave it here. I'm getting tired of this. I think this is it. Yeah, we're done. So this is all organized now. Let me see. What are we seeing here? Yeah, the whole thing is organized. So let me know what you guys think. It's 6 40 and I started like at 4. So I've been at it for two hours. I'm tired guys. I'm kind of falling over my feet. That took forever. If I didn't have to talk about every single thing I found in my drawer, it would probably take like 10 minutes, honestly. But it took me like two hours. So I don't know how I'm going to edit this because I'm definitely not posting a two hour video. I'm no Shane Dawson and this is no documentary. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting on my cell phone for some reason, I don't know why. And let me show you. These are the ones um, probably taken to like a spray with alcohol and donate. I don't know where I can donate. If I can, I donate something slightly used. So this like not a great payoff, but not that bad. So I'm just gonna get rid of this really. So it's four out of a lot. Uh, I'm gonna put up a number of a screen that I have. I did not count them. It's not that big compared to other YouTubers, but I'm working on it. In my living room, I have a pile of new stuff that I still yet to review. <laughs> this is getting into obsession, and I love it. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. Let me get out of the shot. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So leave me a comment below what you think about my collection. For some of you it's going to be a lot, for some of you it's going to be like, that's pathetic. <laughs> so uh, leave me a comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. I need to take uh, a rest, my back's hurting from bending over <laughs> and I need some dinner. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching guys. Bye!